Will we finally see the end of the PC? A new report found that 80% of the population believe political correctness is a problem in our country. And it's a belief felt by everyone, young, old, black, white, Asians, Hispanic, Native Americans, all of them think PC thought sucks. I call that unity. Two-thirds of Americans fall into the exhausted majority who are tired of the polarization and tiptoeing around the easily offended. And get this, only 8% of Americans are progressive activists. The leftiest of the left, those are the ones who push the PC, meaning only 8% is telling us what we can and cannot say. That seems like tyranny. Anyway, so has PC culture limited speech in any way? Well, I found some books that were supposed to be published this year, but because of the PC culture, they aren't going to be published. Here are a few of them, and I'm very angry about this. This is uh, one of the first books I found right here. Uh, it's called Spotty Sally, Betty Blemish, and Pigment Pam. 1,000 funny names to call girls with freckles. <laughs> Terrible. This is, this is the stuff we're going to lose. Ugh. Your dad looks like your dad's best friend. No, sorry, you look like your dad's best friend. 500 clever sayings for birthday clowns. Oh, terrible. Well, this is the stuff we're missing. Kids who do cartwheels are stupid and have no friends. 100 facts about childhood no one told you because you smell. It brings it all home. Ooh, this is an interesting one. Uh, uh, your baby is actually really ugly. <laughs> so stop bringing him to lunch, Deborah. This is really specific. I'm trying to get my unlimited mimosas on for $29.95. <laughs> I think a producer, I think a producer wrote that for somebody at home. All right, uh, this is this book is actually written by Ryan Gosling. Uh, yeah, it's true. I find you grossly unattractive. A list of 10,000 Americans I find grossly unattractive. It's by, uh, shall we stop there? Six more. One more? Uh, let's see, how about this one? If you live at home until you're 25, you're not a struggling millennial, you're just a loser. <laughs> I didn't see that one coming. All right, Kat, I think that this study is much bigger than people think because political correctness, if you look at the numbers, over 80% of each ethnicity detest PC culture. This could be the thing that unifies a country and kills identity politics. I hope so, and I do find this encouraging, but I don't find it totally encouraging because you have to think about just how powerful that small yes. PC obsessed mob is mm -hmm. because all they have to do is say that something's sexist or something's racist, and all of a sudden people might not want to associate with that, even if it's something totally ridiculous like hoop earrings being racist cultural appropriation. Yeah. Something, one of the ridiculous examples that I've written about on, on National Review. Mm -hmm. If people hear that, they might just say, okay, I, I don't want to stay away from it because I don't want to be called a racist or a sexist. And so they have a lot of power in those accusations, even though they are in the minority. So we need to remember that they are in the minority and keep fighting for the ability to speak like normal people and act like normal people, because that's something that's very important. Yeah, so attack the minorities is what you're saying. <laughs> Thanks, Jesus, cat, <laughs> terrible, don't applaud that. Okay, to her point, to her point, she is speaking about the big problem, which is there's a tiny mob yeah. that sounds like a large mob because they're so loud. They come after people like you. You had a guest on your show, Claire Lehman from yeah. Quillette. Yeah. She said three words that I have not forgotten. Share the risk, which means if every single person shares the risk, the little mob goes away. But it's yeah. when we all, we all hide because we go, well, maybe they won't come for me. It's the crocodile will eat you last theory. Yeah. But we, everybody goes like, oh, they're, go they're going after Kat, but if they go after Kat, they won't go after me. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they get one, and then they go for more. So yeah. if, you, if you stand there, then they will stop. This is what our friend Eric Weinstein calls the chihuahua effect, mm -hmm. that basically they're just a little yipping, yipping dog that's yeah. making a lot of sound, but you could kick that thing to the corner really easily. Aww. And you know, it's another, it's another uh, size, sizeism on this panel. It's ridiculous. Yeah, oh, I wasn't talking about you just because I said chihuahua. Well, that was my nickname in high school. <laughs> Mainly because I was hairless. <laughs>
Kyrus. The problem is the people that control that, it's the mainstream media and it's it's people who have a large voice. Like a perfect example when we've had situations where um, an opinion columnist will say something on a TV show that is tough, no one wants to hear it, and then someone will come on TV and be like, I was offended, yeah. and I don't think her sponsor should protect her, the sponsor should leave, and the CEOs will automatically bail. HR. Yeah, they will jump because it could be it could be a problem instead yes. of like you know what the let's worst. see what happens maybe this one bleeding heart crybaby mm -hmm. isn't that important but they give that power it, they don't take it we give it it's to so them. true and it's so frustrating uh, uh, Jedediah that like it's it's the corporates yeah. that will like just throw you aside if, it, if they don't right. want the problem right. they don't want the bad PR right and, I, and it's interesting because I think people started years ago embracing the PC culture because they were like you know we want to be polite we want to yeah. be nice and now everyone's united because they're terrified to speak. Yeah. They're terrified to say anything out of fear that they're going to be labeled something. And it's this united terror. Like, people are afraid to tweet because you tweet something 25 years later, it could come back, yes. and you're out of a career. Yeah, it's like herpes. So now everyone's tar <laughs> Yes, exactly. Not that I would know. <laughs> Well, did you see this this week that uh, the ABC executives? Yes. Now they're saying that they may have jumped the gun by getting rid of Roseanne because they think the Connors is going to do poorly. It's like, oh, you got rid of Roseanne from the Roseanne show. Yeah. I can't it, believe it. It'll, it. Yeah, it'll be reboot number three. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Well, all I know is we missed out on a lot of great books because of oh. PC culture. <laughs> all right. Fights. What? You can't have debates anymore. You, you can't have debates. Can't no, you can't. You can't, you can't say anything. Yeah. Sit quietly in a room and drink heavily.